Hi, and welcome to Ignition for the spark you've been missing. On Ignition, we've looked at alternative energy-powered cars before, quite a few in fact, the mighty Lexus 600 and the 450. We've looked at the little Revi, the all-electric car, a range of Volvo flexi-fuel vehicles that run on an E85, which is a combination of petrol and bioethanol, and the Honda Civic IMA, which is also a hybrid like the Lexus. But today, we're going to look at the iconic hybrid, and probably the best known, the Toyota Prius. Toyota Prius is an electric motor and petrol engine hybrid. The most frequently asked question I get is, do you have to plug it in at night to recharge the batteries? Well, no, you don't. The whole point about the hybrid is that the electric motor is used to take off or to run in traffic. When acceleration is required, the petrol engine takes over, and when it's working, it's recharging the batteries. Regenerative brakes also recharge the battery, so it is constantly being topped up and the electric motor is not in use. This is the third version of the Prius and many changes have been made to improve the running and performance. You've got a 1.5 litre petrol engine which now develops 76 horsepower and the 500 volt electric motor develops 67 horsepower. When full power is required, both work together producing a useful 110 horsepower. It's really all very clever. The new tax regime is not kind to hybrids because the 50% reduction in VRT has been scrapped and a tax of €2,500 applies to all hybrids and bioethanol powered cars. Very short sighted of the government if you ask me. However, Toyota have reacted and the new price of the Prius has actually dropped by €3,000 to €27,005. This is due to the very low carbon emissions of only 104 grams of CO2 per kilometre, which makes it the only family car in tax band A. It also has the lowest road tax of only 100 euro per annum. I can't deny there's a sense of moral superiority when driving the Prius, particularly when stuck in heavy traffic, because you ain't using any petrol at all. The dashboard display rewards you with little green cars to tell you how efficiently or economically you've been driving. The display also tells you when the electric motor is being used, when the petrol engine is being used, when the battery is being used and, of course, when the battery is being recharged. Certainly, the debate rages on about hybrids. Other brands have actually developed diesel technology to match or sometimes even beat the economy of the hybrid. But remember, one day the oil will run out, but there will always be electricity. And Toyota are developing plug-in technology for the Prius. Over one million Priuses have been sold in 10 years. One million. And in Ireland, over 1,700 have been sold since 2003. Check this out. If you drove a Prius for 10 years, or 150,000 miles, you'd have saved more than 19 tonnes of CO2 than the equivalent petrol engine car. The Toyota Prius Hybrid has a 1.5 litre petrol engine and the electric motor. It falls into tax band A, with road tax of 100 euro per annum. The price is 27,005 euro. The Honda Civic IMA is another hybrid and it has a 1.3 litre engine and electric motor. It falls into tax band A also, with road tax of 100 euro. The price for the Civic IMA is €28,825. Another hybrid is the Lexus G450. This has the large 3.5-litre petrol engine and electric motors. It falls into tax band E with road tax of €600 Euro per annum. The price is €81,350.